Before I want to start with the video, I want to talk about a very important topic going on. In my opinion, it's not in, not enough spoken about it and it has something to do with Greece. 11 years after the last forest fires which went through Greece, it's happening again. Mainly in the area around Athens, forest fires are a big deal now, motorways are being closed, train lines are being closed, people even cannot escape their homes because the fires are surrounding their homes and people who live near the coast, they flee into the water so that they don't get burned. So far around 50 people died from the forest fires, numbers going up, around 1000 people are injured and some of them are even in danger of their life. My condolences go to them. With this intro I want to raise awareness because pe because people don't realize that terrible things are happening in front of their house door. I didn't know about it until a friend of mine on Instagram has texted me and told me have you heard what, ha what is happening around Athens? I was completely clueless because even though I follow news I haven't noticed about it. I felt like there was not enough information provided. I generally don't talk about stuff like this, I generally want to keep my channel positive, but this is one message which I wanted to let out to the world. And I wanted to say with this, there are people here in our continent, even in the EU, and they experience big trouble. And even though they were and are still in a crisis, it gets even worse. And I can't believe that it, it has to come so far that people are completely helpless because institu institutions don't work properly. And I don't want to hear people blaming refugees or any foreigners for these fires. In the end people have to watch their own interests, what is going on in their country, because they are fully responsible how to treat it. That was it with my message and now let's come to the video. Yes, yes, everyone, it's Vlad's Boredom and welcome to my latest boop, 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 reaction to Greek music. And this time I am going to react to somebody who was popular six years ago. She was participating in Eurovision and that is for what she was most famous for. Let me present you, Ivy Adamo. Ivy Adamo participated in 2012 in Eurovision with her song La La Love. Afterwards, I have no idea what was actually happening with her. And this year she became a mother, she got a daughter. You made a great EV, and you know what? You have also released a new song. I have heard you have released a song called Pame Que Mi Rotas. I have no idea what it means, but I know it's a new song from you. Well, what new? It is like three months old. But I don't care. I want to see how you have developed in the past few years. What are we waiting for? Let's check the song out. And as always, the headphones. Tria, Dio, Ena, Go. Oh my god, I miss this voice, it was... She has a very distinctive voice compared to other Greek singers and that was what I really liked about her, apart from her looks. And it is a, a very slow song compared to what La La Love was. La La Love was like really, really fast. But I really like the beat, it, it is not typically Greek or 
not to that what I'm used to listen to. I also realized that she grew completely up. I mean, she's just three years older than I am, and participating with 19 in Eurovision is quite early, and also building up her own career so early. Now you see that she developed herself a lot more, that she grew up. And I don't see her old style back in this video, which is a little bit unfortunate because I have her in a different memory. I don't know what's actually going on in the music video, but I see several couples. In the beginning they were arguing, now everything is okay. And as I see, there are people from de different ethnic backgrounds. As I said before, I can't believe how Evie Adamu changed herself, namely into the positive, but I have so many nostalgic feelings. It was just six years ago, what the, what the hell am I even talking about? I have the feeling that to Evie Adamu, the, a girly, teenish, pop princess image suits better than a grown-up woman. But Considering this, I have to say that this song is actually not bad at all. I expected com something completely different. I really expected a really nice pop song or anything what fits into Kalokeri. While this is something completely different. It's difficult to compare it with a song, but I have the feeling it has something... What I cannot describe. Similar to Mantisa from Marina Sati, which is also a really different song from what I know, and it became very popular in Greece. However, this song is not so popular compared to Mantisa. It has less than 500,000 views and just above 4,000 likes and less than 200 dislikes. People generally like it, but in my opinion, this song is not so well known. Maybe because Evie concentrated herself on other things, she studied, she got a child. There was not a lot of time for music and I think this is a good start to come back to the scene. I'm going to give the song a like because I believe in Evie Adamu's capabilities. However, I don't know how she will de develop in the future, but I just hope all the best for her. That was it from my side. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you liked the video. Leave me a comment if you want to say something to me as feedback is always good. And don't forget to subscribe me because otherwise you will miss a lot of things what I will do and that will be a shame. I make a lot of awesome stuff so don't forget to subscribe me. I oh, yeah, and before I forget it also check out my Instagram and follow me there because there I'm also posting regularly stuff in the feed and on my story. You can also get in touch with me just write me a DM or a comment that would be really good from you as I'm going to read and reply to them. Otherwise I have nothing left to say and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye!